folks, this is extremely dangerous. This is very dangerous. When storms roll through, scientists at the National Weather Service and Severe Storms Laboratory in Norman are ready, forecasting and researching on the ground and in the sky. Norman's pretty much the weather capital of the world. Which makes it the perfect place to open the National Weather Museum and Science Center. And we want to preserve the rich history of meteorology, but also highlight the future of where meteorology is going. The museum opened its doors in 2016 with one of its first exhibits, a fully restored T-28 storm penetrating aircraft. That was one of the original aircraft used to fly into thunderstorms. So as the planes are flying through those different portions of the storm, they can collect information and the scientists can sometimes analyze that as it's happening. Other popular exhibits you'll see include the original Norman Doppler radar, which helped develop advanced warnings. Then there's this car, or what's left of it, that was in the path of the 2013 Moore tornado. The time that it went through that metropolitan area of Moore, it was basically an EF5, so it had wind speeds over 200 miles per hour at that point. But we like to add these things as part of the museum in order to teach about weather safety as well. As you walk through the museum, you will be guided through a timeline of more than 100 weather-related artifacts. We have lots of historical things that um, you know, are fairly recent, but also go back to the 17 1800s. Like this collection of weather thermometers and a display of historic weather balloons, which are still used today. The museum not only houses dozens of artifacts, but it's also a weather playground where you can learn about science and weather through several interactive exhibits. We want to get people excited about weather and about meteorology. And one way to do that is inside this flight simulator. I'm sitting inside the cockpit of a T-28 where you can actually work the controls to fly through different parts of the world and in any type of weather. We also have a, an augmented reality sandbox where you can change the contours within that sandbox so you can create hills and valleys and oceans and lakes and rivers. And a farm bot. You can actually use code to garden and to harvest, and so it's a way to bring in kind of the weather and climate aspect of meteorology. The museum not only covers history, but where the world of meteorology is headed. We have things like the new phase array radar that's being developed by the Advanced Radar Research Center and also folks at the NOAA National Severe Storms Lab. So going away from a traditional dish that is used to scan the skies mechanically to more of a uh, electronically steered beam so that you can do it quicker and faster. The future also holds the dream of building a bigger space for the museum so they can add even more exhibits. We've been taking lots of baby steps going forward, but we really want to make this a much larger facility um, to bring all of that weather experience right here to Norman, Oklahoma. Discovering Oklahoma and Norman, I'm Deanne Stein.